Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss tic-tac-toe game playing. This can be solved with the different approaches. In this video, I will discuss the first approach that is called as program 1 in this case. So first we will see what is tic-tac-toe game playing. It is a paper pencil game of uh, two players. Let us say that uh, X and uh, O. Uh, they chooses to mark the spaces on a grid of uh, 3 by 3 in this case. The one who succeeds in putting uh, three of their marks in a horizontal, vertical or a diagonal line, that particular player will be the winner in this case. For example, uh, in this particular first case, X has succeeded in placing uh, three of his marks in a horizontal row. So because of that, X is the winner. In the second case, uh, X is winner because he has succeeded in placing three of his marks in a vertical uh, row. So he is the winner in this case. Coming back to the third example, in this case, O has placed his uh, marks in a diagonal uh, line, so he is the winner in this particular case. Now, uh, in this case, uh, as I said earlier, there will be two players. Uh, you can assume that uh, the first player is human and second player is computer and so on. Objective in this case is to write a computer program in such a way that a computer wins most of these particular uh, games over here. So that should be the objective of uh, each and every approach. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, we are going to discuss different approaches. Uh, there is uh, program 1, program 2 and program 3. As and when you go from uh, first program to second program and second to third program, the complexity increases. Similarly, the use of generalization uh, increases. For example, the second program is more general than the first one and third one is more general than the second one and so on. The clarity of knowledge in, uh, improves from program 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and so on. Similarly, we can extend that particular uh, uh, program uh, to the new uh, games and so on because uh, as and when you go from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, the knowledge gained by that particular program increases so we can use it for different uh, games and so on so that is uh, the basic idea behind this particular tic tac uh, to game in this case uh, i will start with the first uh, program uh, let us assume that uh, there are two players are there uh, the first player uh, uses the uh, x mark and second player is going to use o mark over here uh, the one who places uh, three consecutive marks in horizontal, vertical or uh, horizontal line, we, he will be the winner over here. To understand the program one, first we will try to understand the data structure of that particular uh, program. Uh, the board data structure looks something like this one. The board is a 3 by 3 uh, grid here. And uh, each of these particular grids are marked something like this one. These are the four corners, edges over here and the center one is the center square over here. Each of these particular cells are marked with a number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here. Uh, this is a 2D game board and it is a 1D game board over here. The same thing is written in one dimension over here. Now, uh, the board data structure looks something like this one. We can uh, Let us say that all are zero on the board. The meaning is uh, everything is blank. If one is there, the meaning is uh, X player move and two means O player move in this particular case. A computer may play either uh, X or O, but always X will be the first player in this case. So these are some of the things we need to remember when it comes to the board. There is another data structure that is called as uh, Mo table. Mo table contains uh, three by three raised to nine elements actually into that particular uh, table. Uh, each of those particular entries are consisting of a nine element vector representing the current board position. So total number of entries in that particular move table is 19,683. They look something like this. So this is how actually the board data structure looks like. And uh, this is how that uh, move table looks like. So total number of entries are, as I said earlier, 19,683. And uh, there are two things are there, the current board position and new board position. If the current board position is all zeros, the meaning of this one is uh, the board is blank and uh, the first player will place his mark at the center. That is nothing but at this particular fifth position here. If uh, the current board position is this one, that is uh, one is uh, that is uh, the X has played at ninth position, the O will play at second position in this case. Similarly, if O has placed at ninth position, then X will play at fourth position in this case because one, two, three and four, fourth position over here. 
similarly if uh, x has played at an eighth position o will play at the third position over here the one means x and two means o over here that you need to remember because we have already discussed here we will take some example to understand this one uh, let us say that the current board position is this one that is all are zeros uh, it will go to this particular uh, move table and then it will get this particular index so this is where it matches so x will play at this particular position that is fifth one you can see over here if x is played at the ninth position now uh, x is in this case is uh, the human so computer will go through this particular uh, table and then it will uh, search for this particular entry it is present over here so computer will play at second position that is over here now let us say that uh, the computer has played at this particular position that is the second position second is nothing but the ninth uh, entry over here uh, the associated uh, the new position is uh, the he here that is a fourth one so x will be played at this particular place similarly if uh, x has played at the eighth position o will play at third position that is how the board will look like so every time whenever it gets this particular uh, uh, the board position the computer will search for that particular entry and it will play according to that particular entry in the new board position over here so this is how this particular program number one works uh, it's a very basic uh, program in this case it is like a lookup table it will look for the current board position and based on that particular entry into the new board position the computer will play its game over here so that's as simple as that in this case so this is how the uh, flowchart uh, for uh, tic-tac-toe game for the program one looks like so first we will ask for the players later uh, computer or human can choose between x and o based on that particular thing uh, the, they will start playing but, but the very important thing is uh, the x will start its uh, move first over here let us assume that uh, the player has taken x that's a uh, human and computer will be given o here so first uh, player will uh, will be shown the board and then he will make its move okay he will not see that particular move table move table is uh, related to this particular computer so whenever a board has been shown to him he will play the uh, his move and then uh, we will see whether the player has won after playing it if he has won it will directly go to this particular thing uh, we will ask whether they want to play one more game if they want to play again it will go back and then they will ask for the new letter here if they don't want to play it will go and end this particular program if player has not won we will see whether there is a tie if there is a tie we will again go and ask whether they want to play the next game if they want to play they will start otherwise it will be end here they have not won uh, the player has not won and there is no tie we will ask the computer to play its uh, next move so whenever computer is asked to play the next move it will be shown that particular uh, move table it will see the current uh, board position entry into that particular move table based on the new board position it will play its uh, move here so once computer play its move we will see whether computer has won or not if it has won again we will go to this particular place and then we will end here if computer has not won we will see whether there is a tie or not if there is a tie again we will stop here if there is no tie now the next turn is the human turn so he will be shown the board he will play his uh, next move whether the particular player has won or not we will check if he has not won we will check whether there is a tie or not if not again computer will be given the next chance so computer will be given that particular move table based on the current board position it will play the next move and then again we will see whether computer has won or not if computer has won uh, we will stop here otherwise uh, we will go to this particular next state we will check whether computer has uh, whether there is a tie or not if there is a tie again we will stop or else we will ask the next move to be done by the player over here and the same thing will be repeated unless and until there is a uh, either player has won or the computer has won or there is a tie at this particular place so this is how the flowchart for this uh, tic-tac-toe game for program one looks like now we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of uh, program one the advantage is this is uh, uh, very efficient in time because uh, only thing what we need to do is we need uh, the computer has to go to that particular move table and then it has to see the entry into that table and then it has to play according to the entry here but the there are a lot of disadvantages are there the very first disadvantage is a lot of space is required to store that particular move table as i said earlier uh, the number of entries into that particular move table is 3 to 9 that's a very huge number actually 
the second one is uh, there is a lot of work is required to specify all the entries into that particular mo table because you have to specify 3 is to 9 entries into that particular mo table it takes a lot of time you cannot extend this particular program to any other uh, games that is not possible uh, it is highly error prone because if you make a small mistake in creating that particular mo table definitely the entire program is wrong here as i said earlier it cannot be extendable uh, you can, to uh, another program and so on over here and the very big disadvantage is it is not at all intelligent here it is not an intelligent program because every time it is going to that particular mo table and then based on the entries it is making a decision it is not at all making an intelligent decision over here so in this video i have discussed uh, the tic tac toe game playing uh, program number one the other programs i have discussed the link for those videos is given in the description below i hope this concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching